Hi, how to use the dock add-on with Batch and Print Pro. Now, the dock add-on gives you more options, for example, to print the Word document silently in Batch. It can also do page ranges, password support for files, pause before print, say if there's additional uh, processing like VBA scripts, macros, Print with comments, print with revisions, you can do all this in batch and headers and footers. Now to use the doc add-on, first you need to install it, which is available on our website. If you go to the uh, Batch and Print Pro and then click add-ons, you'll see a list of add-ons and you click on doc add-on. And then you just install it. Once you've installed Batch and Print Pro, you install it then on top. You click there to install it. Then you add a, a doc or docx or rtf to the batch and print pro list normally it would just print it would just flash up on screen when it's printing see it's, it showed the document there well when you um, right mouse on it and click add on setup it will then from then onwards print silently in the background but it still prints in ms word so, for example, I can just print page one if I want to. I can add headers and footers, for example. Or password. Print to file. Change the page setup. Whatever you need. So I'm going to print the file name in the header. On this one. And say if you want to print it with revisions. Save and exit. So that will now do that. If I change the printer. Change it to Xerox. When you click print, so that's now printed that. So if I look on the printer, you see this is the the word document file there, what I printed, which is pages one. So if I scroll across, you can see the add-on parameters there, what have been set for that file. You can do different settings for each file, but say if you've got a batch list of Word documents to do it to, what you can do, you can do it, set it globally, so it always uses those settings. So just to right mouse on the file again, copy add-on parameters to clipboard, click yes. Now if you find the doc add-on there, right mouse paste, so those are the parameters that are going to use for every file. So now when you drag and drop a file, it will automatically populate the add-on parameters in for you. So that's for that. You can also use this in Director Monitor as well. Go to Options menu, Director Monitor Setup. Say if you just print in uh, doc files, for example. If you click on Advanced Settings, it says use add-on settings there. If you just click on that right mouse and paste in. Those are the settings for that folder. And you can have different settings for different folders, for example, as well. Uh, you want to clear the uh, default add-on parameters for globally if you're going to use Dietary Monitor at the same time. And that's a quick guide, really, on how to use the dock add-on. It can be really powerful for doing all these things what you might need. Give it a try.